What up, what up? Hope everybody doing good on this Tuesday. Before we get started, I need you guys to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I want to talk about LeBron James and the Lakers uh, this morning. Last night, the King went home, back to Cleveland, and he scored 40, 46 points in a win. You know, last night was LeBron James' first first time back in Cleveland in two years, uh, thanks to the p pandemic. You know, for LeBron to be in year 18 and able to, still able to play at a high level like that, an incredible feat, man. Most players, you know, when they start getting around year 12, year 13, year 14, they start breaking down and their skills start to erode. You know, LeBron James spends over a year, over a million dollars a year on his body with nutritionists and different, different stuff to uh, stay in shape and stay healthy. You know, I never seen a man take care of himself like this guy has. You know, the, man, uh, utmost respect. I wish I was that that disciplined. You know, right now, if you want to say it, the Lakers looking like the early favorites to repeat as NBA champions. You know, I seen where LeBron got angry last night with a gentleman. He works for Cleveland front office. You know, uh, LeBron James and Cleveland front office, you know, they've been at odds for years. Dan Gilbert and LeBron, I don't think they see eye to eye. Even, even after that 2016 championship, I still don't think they they like each other. After, after the gentleman was heckling LeBron, LeBron took over in the fourth quarter of the game. LeBron scored 21 points by himself to Cleveland's 19. Only problem I'm seeing on the Lakers, I would like to see uh, Anthony Davis be a little more consistent. He he in the bubble, AD looked real good, man. Some nights it'll be LeBron, some nights it'll be AD. Now, he looked good the other night against Chicago when he went back home. He played well, well. They fed him a lot, and he and he and he he had an uh, excellent game. You know, to, to just starting the year, his play's been up and down, but his defense been 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 outstanding. AD has always been a good defensive player, and he got even better since he got with the Lakers. I want to want also I want to give a big shout out to Frank Vogel. You know, that guy did a good job with this roster last year. You know, he made the pieces work, and this year, like he's out to the same thing. You know. He, they they the best team in the league, and they playing like it. And I, I'm I'm glad to see because you know a lot of people question that hire you when Frank Vogel first got the job. Is he the right man for the job? I want to say you know you know numbers don't lie, so he didn't put all them whispers to rest. Rob Palenka also has done you know an excellent job with the front office. You know, Rob Palenka used to be Kobe Bryant's agent. Now he's turned into the Lakers GM. You know, him and Magic Johnson was the one-two in the front office. When Magic left, you know, Rob took over. And Rob pretty much, and he's running things real smooth. Now, at first they said a lot of people didn't like Rob. But I think Rob has, you know, has learned the ins and outs of the NBA well in his time as an agent. So, so the transition to GM has been a smooth one. I think Jenny Bus and the, and the Bus family should be proud of you know what the Lakers are, what the Lakers are doing right now. The, I look for them to repeat again. You know, you know that's barring injuries. If no one gets hurt, you know they should they should win again. Even though you know you got a few teams, they still not at their best. The Clippers are also looking good. I want to get Ty Lue a shout out. He's looking real good. What he doing over there with the Clippers? He's getting them guys to play or more consistent. They're not taking all these games off. Number one, speaking of speaking on Kawhi Leonard, I think they missed a game or so. Might have been last night. Him and Paul George missed a game due to COVID. But like I say, the Lakers are the early favorites to repeat as champions. And I, you know, and I'm happy to see LeBron James. You know, put out like he's putting out 46 points and year 18, man. Not many people can get up and down that court. I seen him chase down the block last night, uh, uh, Colin Sexton. You know, 
LeBron, LeBron's good, man. And he, and he's putting out and he's putting out every game. That guy brings it. He plays harder than some of the younger guys. You know, I know that marvels them to see this guy that long in the league and still at that level. You know, many people can't stay at that level that long. Like I say, that's a big feat, man. I'm going to come back and talk a little bit later on about a little NFL with you guys. But, you know, as always, I want to hear you guys' opinion, not just mine. You know, tell me what you guys think. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to sign off for a minute. And I'll be back and talk with you later on. Thank you.